Right, I got Michelin stars, honey. Sauce and onion that's deep fried. I'm allergic to short guy. Before Tasha's had us on chocolate. Before Doppler Zero had us on chocolate. Before chocol. McDonald's had us on chocolate. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Notando and I make videos on construction, lifestyle, and travel. Today I've got Simo. Simo Feb. AKA Simo. Booty. Booty connoisseur. Did you I forget yourself? yourself? So yeah, so today we're gonna to be rating our most favorite restaurants. This was actually so awkward for me because like the way we're sitting, right? Half of the restaurants is semi-facing us. But actually now when I look at them, no one is looking, no one is staring. People are like just minding their own things. business. So this kind of feels like exposure therapy when you do something really uncomfortable. Exposure therapy involves exposing the target patient to the anxiety source or its context without the intention to cause any danger. I don't want to lie to you. So Tim and I have put a list together. Do you want to start? Wait, before. Do you guys know how hard it is to get a table at Uko? Like... We nearly turned back. This is the second time they nearly turned us back. And it's always it's always a problem. So and the funny thing is we started the foodie restaurant hopping journey here at Oko. Let's just order it. Yeah. Yeah. like a full circle it's like year in function but restaurant vibes yeah like our memories we are going through stuff when we're going to these restaurants there's even a picture of me remember Louisiana when I got stood up motherfucker but anyway <laughs> so I'll tell you guys my top five so number five so it's obviously in order so five four three two one so number five for me is Cole Izakaya. It's in Hyde Park. I think they recently opened. So it's like an Asian, Japanese cuisine type of vibe. What we liked there was the indamamis, the spicy indamamis. Which is basically like green beans. Mm, like a pink chamoo. Hey, okay, I can get green yeah. beans that are like live in some corner. chakalaka mm. I think. Oh, mm. it's so good. It was amazing. I was, I was like, why is this girl ordering this? You see people that order the same thing. That's her toxic trait when it comes to this foodie thing. <laughs> she orders the same Safe, thing. Safe fish and chips. Oh, wabatum. <laughs> Yo. I love fish and chips. Do better. What I didn't like was that we got out there smelling like charcoal because. They have like this bry thing where you can bry your meat and we're sitting next to a couple that was doing that and yo, I smelled like coal so that was the only downfall. My number yeah. five is also coal, oh, okay. Izakaya. What I liked about it is it's aesthetically beautiful but the thing about Joburg restaurants is that they're always in malls. So obviously we don't have the sea or we don't have like mountains, as views. Yeah. But maybe if it was like on a rooftop, even if it's at a mall, I always feel like I wish that was the case. But yes, um, I like sushi. Like I order the same thing all the time because it's safe. And I also um, didn't like that we smelled like barbecue. Yo, that cup. I think I have a video. Ne? Yeah. I'll put the video there. Like the baba It was a praia in those. And the baba sheets or whatever they're doing. Like it was just so uncomfortable. And also like we didn't get a, our choice. We didn't even go to the bathrooms. Apparently the bathrooms are really beautiful. Yeah. But it's very aesthetic. It's nice. Um, the food is good. The sushi was great. Um, the beans were nice. So it's also in my number five, surprisingly. So number four for me is the restaurant that we're in right now, Uko. They have a very, very good service. It's just the fact that you have to book and half the time it's like you have, you're gonna have to wait an hour, stuff like that. But the food is really, really good and the service is amazing. We got complimentary champagne. And yeah, that's very nice. Even the first time we were here, we got complimentary like onion, onion, onion thing. Like this, to be honest. It's nice. Ish. She it's just an onion that's deep fried. You can't take it anyway, I'm joking. But yeah, I, I really like this place. The food is fresh, the oyster is amazing. Attention to detail. Mm. 
So yeah, this is number four and you should come here. My number four then will be Blockman. Okay. Uh, Blockman is in Parkhurst. I was actually surprised by the location because when you look at the pictures, it's so modern looking and all of that. And then it's just like by a corner in Parkhurst, which is okay, but they had the best oysters. So those oysters were really, really good. And But I didn't really enjoy my main meal because they're all about like you can choose your best cuts from... Maybe I'm not a good, I'm not good at judging like cuts from beef because I'm not a beef person. I like seafood, but I really enjoyed the oysters there, and it's very beautiful inside. It's like it's really beautiful. You know, it actually looks like um, so, like the furniture. Oh, solo. Solo, yes. Mm. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's my number four on my list. What's your number three? My number three might be your number four. Yeah. Number three is Brockman. Oh. I liked it because, the, like you said, aesthetically pleasing. They, I think they specialize with people on red meat. Like if you're a meat person, like steak and all that, I think you're going to enjoy. But for me, it was a bit too rich. Like, you had a lot of richness, you know. You know red meat, sometimes you need to like tone it down with salad or something fresh. And the oysters was amazing. The downfall was one of the desserts we had. Yo, <laughs> That was not nice. It looks nice to put a picture, but it was like we were eating butter and like fig with honey. I see the vibe. I see what they're going with it. It was like sour cream, like very sour creamy, yogurty, with the figs, with the honey maybe, but it wasn't, it wasn't nice. But yeah, that's my number three. My number three is Jamele. And the reason that it's number three is because I've had the experience so many times already. And it's becoming, it's, uh, if people who've been there know, like it's, the vibe is sometimes confusing. Yeah. Like I wish the bar part was a bit further away so that you can have a dining experience. My first time they actually almost hated my experience because it was so clubby. And, but the food is also so, like it looks, it's like Italian vibes. It's just that that bar is too close and then it taints the whole um, dining experience for me. Yeah. But the, my favorite meal there is like a pasta with like chorizo. Boys, boys, boys. Because you, why are you learning what works? Yeah, it is no, so good. Like when I'm craving, I know what I'm, <laughs> when I'm craving for a certain dish, I know what I'm going to get. And yeah. yeah, that was the thing there. And it's so tasty, like it's got so much flavor. Yo, that's my favorite meal and Jemele is number three for me because of that specific meal. This was like number two and number one is like very difficult because number one, I had to choose between experience and food. If I had to choose food, my number two would be number one, yeah. Number two, it was very difficult. I think about that food every day. Like, Moderna guys, Moderna, it's my number two, if you had, I don't know what to call, what's that pasta called, it's like a seafoody pasta and it has like tomato, pe oh gosh, I think about that when I'm sleeping, like if you want to have a beautiful hearty pasta, listen, go to Moderna, Moderna, and the desserts, the tiramisu desserts, yo, with the jelly yes. like that's what I'm saying it's hard like it could be number one it's just number one there's a reason why it's number one and also like where Moderna is located it's quite quaint it's cute mm -hmm. it's pretty so you have like mm -hmm. a nice relaxed experience 100%. Like, yeah like it gets to the point like you're there for the food and the experience yeah, yeah. so my, my number two is Moderna actually on my Moderna's not on the list on mine and I feel like change is when ah no it's fine okay. yeah it's like a part two okay. <laughs> my number two is um, Saint yes. and that's because your know, guys Saint is an experience you know when you watch those like Hollywood movies and you, like people are going on like a first dates like it makes you feel like you have your life together mm. the aesthetics is so beautiful if you feel like you've made it in life they did it so well like even the view is just the street name, but it's in Sanson, so it's like city lights. It's like a proper city experience. Yes. Thank you.
It's like a proper city experience. It's so beautiful. Like I felt so comfortable being there. Um, they look after you. Yes. Yo, it's uh, I, Yes. Yes. So Saints is my number two. Um, it also has a club down there. Like, and the club is like not just a club club. Like you have like proper elite. DJ. So if you want to feel like you've made it ish in life, I think Saints is the one. Like I had a great experience. I felt so good. Like afterwards, it was a nice vibe. It's Saint. I'm actually getting uncomfortable because people are staring. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine because you're blocked. My name is Ladies. Hi. Are you taking over? Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wine for the pine. Wine for the pain. Ching ching. So you did look at me in the eye. Maybe that's why. Wait. <laughs> so my number one is her number two. Guys, Saint is the best. I think I went on my birthday. It was my birthday week. Oh, sorry. It was on my birthday. Well, birthday week, yeah. yeah. Birthday. Mm. So we went there wearing heels, dressed up, all cute and stuff. We'll put yeah, pictures. You look great. Yes. Thank you. Yes. We'll put pictures. And then we had like a nice dinner. And then we were like, let's go next door. DJ Fresh was performing, and a few of these other guys. Yo, yo, yo. Vibe, 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 vibe. Like, it was lit, it was nice. For me, Saint is like the best restaurant in South Africa. Okay, let me not say South Africa. In Joburg. Yeah, I can't say South Africa. Cape Town is up there. It's not even, a, doesn't, like, mm -mm. So Saint's number one for me. I can't wait for us to do like a Cape Town edition of the same thing. Imagine. Dude, we'll, like, we'll be time. broke. Just like no, it. we'll be rich oh, because yeah. we can afford it. Okay. In, I love the optimistic theme. Optimistic, even if it's a bit of delusion. I love it. No, I think Saint is number one for me. Purely because of the spirit. I think we probably went there on the right time. Yay. Like the right day, right everything. Yay. The dessert was nice, the food was nice. The club, we were dancing. You the best. And for me as well, like when we sat next to a couple that I saw, at Kruger, so it, it was just like a good day. It was, it was just a good, good day, vibe. good good day, good vibes. Okay, good vibe. my number one. Now I feel like it's, my number one is not in the best location. I don't think it's the best location, but as soon as you get inside, it's like nice. My number one is my number one because of my favorite meal, and that's mac and cheese. So Louise and Anna, which is inspired by Louisiana, so it's like American type of cuisine, like you know sweet like chicken with waffles type of thing on the menu the fav my favorite meal that i had there was lobster and mac and cheese yo that mac and cheese and i just like like the aesthetic day like i'll put the pictures it's so fun and sweet like oh bless your little heart darling like it's it was nice i enjoyed that you don't have the best memories there but you go i was going but this also shows you that you can also enjoy life while you're going through like, don't postpone your enjoyment because mm. pain does not choose when and it comes. I nearly, I nearly said no to her because I thought I would say, remember, what else have you going to cancel on me? Yeah, because I thought, no, something's going to come up. And then you're like, no, dude, he's not going to come. Let's go. And you're like, right. So, yeah. Men can be trash. But I'm flourishing now by myself. I'm happy for you. Hey guys, she's single, so if you are looking for to mingle. Please be tall. Oh yeah, she's very tall, so yeah. only if you're tall. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm allergic. I'm allergic to short guys. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I think we've listed them. Let us know if you'd like to this. If you, okay, before I close, let us know if you'd like a part two of this video, because I feel like top five was too little. Like we went to, there's so many nice restaurants in Joburg, and depending on the day that you go, what you like, um, the waiter that you have, your experience might be different, obviously. Mm -hmm. Closing remarks is that I'm very proud of the restaurant business in South Africa now. Mm -hmm. Before Tasha's had us on charcoal, guys. <laughs> Before Dopio Zero had us on charcoal. Before McDonald's had us on charcoal. 
but so it's actually so nice to see black owned mm. like like Jamelee's black owned mm. and it's top tier mm. amazing amazing so like, I am very proud of where the restaurant industry is going with South Africa Bona Rata Di Jo we love having food great food great experience great service and I mean if you treat black people the same way you treat white people we will come and we don't mind spending money like you will find that look to and left in our pocket and spend it on your restaurant so well done to if you're watching it's like, it's like they're gonna watch but they're gonna watch well done to you guys for stepping into this industry and doing the best and doing the most you know now we can't just look at Cape Town and say they're the only ones that have great restaurants Joburg also has amazing restaurants like there's so many like every month there's a new one like Yo, I, I keep sending her, I think every day I send you like three different restaurants. On TikTok. Hmm, like there's Mama Samba, there's Mabu. So we're going to be coming both part two on those ones, 2023. Mm -hmm. So if you want to sponsor us. No, but at the same time, if you sponsor us, then we, our opinions are going to be tainted. But if you can sponsor us, then don't mind us bashing you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's highly unlikely, but mm. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys. Soon Roya go Italy. Roya go Michelin stars, honey. If you know Michelin star restaurants, we're gonna be there. Go come dine with me. Go BBC King. BBC whatever. Channel A. Yeah, BBC. Mm, we'll be there. Maybe African girls try. Michelin star restaurants around the world. I want to go to France, I want to go to Italy, I want to go to England, everywhere. So this is us manifesting. Don't say we didn't tell you. Period. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this vlog guys. See you later in another video. Please do comment down below if you would like to see more of these type of vlogs. We had so much fun filming this. Thank you for watching. See you later in another video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye. Closing remarks is make the most of life <laughs> so that life doesn't make mo the most of you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For books before boys because boys being baby. Unless you're 30. Um, 